Adding custom advancements or achievements is a really cool feature, but it's super difficult to do without tools. One of the best tools around to pull that off. Hey guys, it's Chad and little Jack here. Run, be free. Um, so custom advancements are a really, really cool thing that have been added to the game, and they've been in the game for a little while now, but actually adding them yourself was really, really difficult. You had to go through the JSON files and know exactly what you were typing. If you got anything wrong, then it just would not work. If there's any errors at all, it would just completely fail and wouldn't show up. I wanted to show this off a long time ago, but um, advancements are just really so difficult that um, I actually never really got around to it. Now, the destruction made a fantastic uh, GUI, a, a graphical user interface, so that you can actually click and change stuff and type stuff in, and it's very, very simple, and then it outputs the JSON files that you need in order to get your own custom advancements. Uh, you may remember the destruction. We just showed off another tool, uh, which was the crafting tool and then like you know a two days later he comes out with this so or he or she comes out with this so this is fantastic so let's jump into it let me show you what custom advancements look like and then how to make your own so here we are inside of minecraft and to start off let me just show you what some of these custom advancements look like if you hit escape hit advancements well nothing is there because i haven't actually activated any of these actually i want to test something out so i'm going to go ahead and open uh or break this log whoa i need to pick it up oh it's so far away Woohoo! there we go welcome to the start and then of course we have new recipes uh so that advancement made welcome to the start is my advancement so you can see this is a game called minecraft welcome to the start that is something that i added uh into my custom advancements now i know that the next big advancement for me to do is to get to zero zero and so we're going to uh go ahead and game mode one in order to pull that off and then i'll talk to you once i get to zero zero so here we are zero zero is out here in the water so if i swim on out towards it here we go there we go uh, well, it says I found deep ocean, but uh, I also got a new area. <laughs> Let me get, get back, otherwise uh, I might drown here. That would be uh, embarrassing. Okay, so I found a few things. Got a few more advancements, uh, but it says start searching. You need to get to zero, zero. I have found deep ocean. Good job. I have found beaches. And so you can see that I have all of this crazy advancement tree uh, going. Also, if we set the time tonight... There we go, and then we also give ourselves a bed. Then, oh, and I still have the uh, the uh, bed texture on from uh, the previous episode that we just did. Um, uh, I can set it down and fall asleep in it, and you can see you slept. Also, sweet dreams. So, uh, also, you may have noticed uh, very briefly that uh, look, at, look, I have 26 um, levels down there. So, lots has, ha lots has happened. Wow, good on you. You slept. Uh, and then also, this is the adventure. Uh, this is part of the normal Minecraft uh, stuff. So you could adventure time, discover every biome. Um, so anyway, that's what some of the advancements look like in-game. So how did I create them? This is the advancements website uh, made by the destruction, which is funny, is just yesterday, just the other day, I was uh, showing off uh, the destruction uh, with a different... Uh, little tool and now here we are back again uh, that was the crafting recipe tool and now we are doing the advancements tool it's funny that uh, they got announced uh, right one after another so this is what I had built out I had welcome to the start which is this game called Minecraft and the uh, icon is oak wood uh, I had start searching you need to get to zero zero uh, found beaches, found birch, found desert, and then you slept. These are some of the things that I showed off. So let me go through uh, each one of them a little bit in turn. Welcome to the start. You can see all this is uh, the very first advancement, the root advancement. Uh, I can name this whatever I want. I named it adventure or it was auto named adventure and I, I kept it. Uh, and then you can also set a background texture uh, within the whatever is in the Minecraft uh, area. So you can go to uh, those background textures. Uh, and then 
I named it, I gave it a description, and you can change the block. So if I wanted it to be a fence, I could, or you could go in here and type into something. So if I wanted it to be a jungle uh, gate, there you go, or you know whatever, jungle wood, jungle anything, uh, oak wood. Uh, so you can see that you can change whatever the icon is. You can also change the shape of the icon. So you can go from normal to challenge to goal. You can show, either it will announce it in chat or it can be hidden so they don't know that it is there. The criteria for actually achieving this, so normally uh, the criteria is uh, empty. You hit add, you can change. I named it get wood and you can't have any spaces, so you can't say uh, got. Uh, get space, that's invalid. You could do underscore though and you say wood. This is just basically for you. And then the trigger, there's all these different triggers. And I, the one that I did was inventory change. And then you can edit which items. And I did the log and that was generic enough. Uh, and this will change in the, in the new snapshots. But uh, this is generic enough that it could be any log, any log at all. And then you hit close. And so anytime you pick up a log. Uh, you can have some advanced requirements, which I am not going to get into. And the reward was 500 experience. So if you notice the very first time that I picked up wood, I got some experience. But you can also have this be a function, which is really, really, really cool. Uh, something that I actually forgot to import was a function uh, because the you slept one was going to uh, do a circle function that I had showed off in a previous episode. Unfortunately, I didn't put that function in there, so we didn't actually get to see that. But that means that it could do anything. It could do any command. Once it's uh, completed, you can do any function at all. So that's really, really crazy. Once you've gotten this, then you can start searching. Uh, this was not hidden. And the, uh, the description is you need to get to zero, zero to give you a little bit of an idea of what you need to do. And then the idea was you would find every biome. So let me start off. Uh, all of this new to show you what you would do if you wanted to create your own. But this gives you a really good idea on all the things that you can change. So let me uh, start everything off new. All you have to do is go into options, hit clear data. What's cool is there's all sorts of options with this. One thing that I'm going to do right now, though, is I'm going to turn off the use Minecraft font. I just find it a little bit unreadable. It's really, really cool. But uh, just for, for this video, I'm going to turn it off. I'm also going to just clear the data, but this automatically backup uh, achievements is really, really cool. So clear the data, say, okay, there you go. Everything is lost. Another cool thing in the options is that if you want to change the width, you can kind of move it around, which is really, really neat. And you can reset it if you want. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So we're going to start off with the first advancement and I'm going to do the same sort of thing. Uh, that I did with the advancement that I just showed off, which was we'll do a how to hunt for the biomes advancement. And it will start off by getting to zero, zero. And we'll say uh, you're in the middle of the world. Perfect. Uh, and I, I forgot that when I hit reset, it changed all the, uh, the, <laughs> the um, fonts back. So uh, we're going to say this is going to be get to zero, zero. And this is really only for the players to see. And then what would be in the middle of the world? What is a good representation of the middle of the world? Well, um, I don't know. Let's say something uh, godlike, something really, really cool. Uh, maybe an eye of ender as just like a thing that that's where you need to get to. Uh, announce in chat, cool, show toast, cool. We're not going to have it be hidden. Now, the criteria for this, we're going to create a trigger and it's going to be your location and we're going to have to edit that location. And you can choose a biome, you can choose the dimension, you can choose uh, a feature. So if you find one of these things, but we're going to set our value of X, Y, and Z. So you might uh, just want to go zero, zero, and then uh, 64, something like that. But in order to make sure that we're absolutely going to be able to hit this, let's do a minimum and maximum. So I'm going to do negative five and positive five. Then here we'll do one to 256. So probably be within that area. And for minimum maximum here, we'll do negative five and five. 
and uh, remember that this is X and Z are the north and, and south and uh, east and west, and then uh, Y is up and down. So that's why this one is so much larger is because they could be anywhere. They could be at bedrock or they could be way, way up in the sky. So we're going to go ahead and close that. And then we can, uh, we're actually not going to work with that, uh, but we could give them something. We could give them experience. So let's let's give them, oh my gosh, so much experience. No, let's not go with that crazy. Let's give them a thousand experience. And then let's go ahead and do uh, the function that I had done before, which was the circle 10. And this time, uh, maybe we'll actually get to see it happen, which would be uh, really, really cool to see that function uh, play out. Uh, next, uh, the idea is that you're going to find all the other biomes in the world. So we're going to add a child to this and there has to be one root and then all the children after it. So I, you can't add another root. Uh, this one, let's just start with criteria and let's choose location again. And remember, there's so many different things. Oh my gosh. There's like breeding animals, brewing potions, placing blocks, your levitation, you know, you could even make it impossible if you want it to be. Um, using eyes of ender. I mean, there's just so many different triggers. Uh, the easiest one is remember inventory change means uh, picked up an item or, or lost an item. You know, your inventory has has gained this. Um, and you can also change which slot it is in. So uh, that's really, really cool. The inventory changed one. But let's stick to location. And we're going to use biome this time. So let's use a pretty... Uh, like a pretty you know non-rare biome so let's just do some planes biome right there and we don't need anything else so let's go ahead and close that uh, and now we do need to give this criteria a name and i don't think we did that on this other one yeah so you have to give the criteria a name so we're just going to name this zero zero like that and then this has to be uh planes of course there you go. Now let's jump back into display and this will be uh, you found the planes and this description is achieved or uh, maybe, uh, uh, you know, congratulations, whatever we want to say. Good job. There you go. Uh, the Actually, the grass is a great uh, icon for the planes as uh, that is what is in the planes. So let's go ahead and add another biome. Now, you don't want to hit child from where you're at. Otherwise, that will create a child on that advancement. So we're going to go ahead and hit delete on that. Go back up here and hit uh, there. And now let's go back into criteria, add a location, and maybe the desert. Desert is a super easy thing to find. And we're going to name this again, then head on up to display. This is going to be, you found the desert. Now the description is still going to be good job. And of course, the icon needs to be something uh, a little bit more desert-like. So maybe let's go with sand. And there we go. So you can see how we could continue on with this to add in your advancements. Once you are finished, uh, you go ahead and click download advancement pack. You do want to kind of jump through and make sure that there wasn't any errors. If I add something and maybe add a criteria that doesn't have anything and uh, we add a trigger that is like consume item and then change the item to be log, I don't know. Uh, if we have errors, and you click download, it's still going to download. So, and nothing will work. So you want to make sure that uh, you, and we're going to just delete that entirely, that you have all your errors correct. Everything is good. So go ahead and download it again. In order to show this off, uh, I am going to create a new world. Let's just put it in creative just so that I can have it. Go ahead and click create world. And that way it'll be all fresh. Okay, so here we are in the new world. Everything's loaded up. So let's go ahead and leave it and then get to that save file. This is the save file and uh, you can see new world E up there. Go into the data folder. Now you may be fooled because there's an advancement folder right here, but that is not what you need. You need to go into data and then you'll have advancements and functions. And I'm going to put uh, my advancement in there. And then I also have some functions just to show off that you can do a function uh, with these advancements. Uh, so I'm going to add both. Now, when I downloaded it, it downloaded it as this Adventure Space 6 because I had downloaded this a few times. You're going to want to uh, unzip that so it's just a folder. And then whatever the name was that you added over here in your root and then this namespace, you're going to want to make sure that the folder is that exact name as well. So head back on over. And we're just going to edit this so that the name is exactly matching. Now we can jump back into the world. Now, in the previous advancement that we showed off, uh, or achievements or advancements, um, 
we had it so that you would break a lock and get a lock. But now it is going to zero, zero. That's the new one that we set up. Remember, we gave you, us a buffer space. So I'm on the ninth block, and we're going to step in here. And if all goes according to plan here, there we go. It, uh, it created that uh, I got the XP that I wanted to. And on top of that, it used the function circle. And uh, in that function, it looks at the block that I'm standing on and creates a circle around me with that block. So this grass block circle uh, was created using that function. So the function worked, the XP worked, and everything else worked. Now we can go into our advancements and see you're in the middle of the world. Uh, oh, that's a little bit cut off. <laughs> look at that. Uh, so now I can look for the desert and the plains and get a, another advancements. Now, those didn't have any uh, anything associated with it. It's funny. I think I see a planes right over here. So we can walk on over to there and see if this triggers correctly. Oh, the suspense. Oh, the suspense. There we go. We found the planes. Wonderful. So our achievements, advancements, uh, those are all going just great. Uh, something that I didn't realize is that functions worked with advancements, which opens us up to insane levels of creativity, of usefulness. Um, you can use functions, and of course, in the uh, next version of the game, where data packs are a thing, where functions and advancements and recipes uh, and everything can all be added in one data pack. Holy cow is the next uh, version of the game 1.13 going to be very, very powerful. Uh, these advancements have obviously been in the game for a little while, but uh, now it's a lot easier. We have this wonderful tool. Once again, a big thanks to the Destruction for creating this amazing tool. You can find a link to it in the description below, as well as a link to uh, their original video that they were showing off some of the features. So really, really, really cool stuff. Now, with all of the things being added into Minecraft, and of course, advancements will still be there. They'll just be in a different place in 1.13 um, inside of the, the files. Um, on uh, your game. So in 1.13, you're going to look for data packs, advancements, and then that's where you're going to put it uh, in there. Jack uh, is getting a little antsy, so I guess let's end this episode. Thanks so much for watching uh, this episode of OMG Craft. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Give it a like for Jack. Come on. Uh, leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts, and I'll see you next time. Oh, make sure you subscribe. See you next time on OMG Craft. Bye!